there because by drawing Anish, he kept Abusatarv in the lead. But now he takes down the leader of the event, and you can see it on Abusatarv's face. He's leaning in, but there's nothing here. Uh, the king can always run away to F7, and I do think that he is going to resign in the near future, and that will leave Anish Giri with his first super tournament victory, and he can breathe a huge sigh of relief. He will win in front of his hometown crowd. The Dutch number one will be a champion in Vikenze at long last. And what better way to silence the critics, to silence the trolls? Twitter responses can only get you so far. The best device is a tournament victory, and the best tournament to win is the 13th round, the most prestigious super tournament held annually, Tata Steel. It's held now for the 85th year. It's a nice round number, and Anish Giri will enter that incredibly exclusive club of players who have won this gar gargantuan, this Herculean, tournament who have withstood these 13 rounds and maintain their form from beginning to end. And that is exactly what Anish Giri did. Let me tell you though, Robert, he is still holding his breath. He hasn't opened that champagne bottle yet. He hasn't tuck tucked into his filet mignon or whatever he will get for his celebratory dinner. He is still pegged either to the board if he's in the playing skull or to his computer screen if he's back re relaxing in his hotel room. He will not celebrate he will not jump on his bed he will not pop the champagne until this game is over and the score sheets are signed but let me tell you the score sheets are about to be signed yes they are because that's new b3 screwed into that square the rook will be on a2 next that pawn is a passer it can hardly be stopped and white just has no threat that's all you can do is give a single check if that and we see jordan and we see no dear back on screen that what you always say, Danya, when you drink that water, you know that that player is happy. And he is it's drinking true, all of that it? water. It, yeah, it's true. He's, he's taking it, you know, a sip and another, and he is going to have that sweet taste of victory in his mouth after this game. And, you know, it, it's going to be one of those wins that you feel badly about. Because for Abusatarov, if he ended as the champion, you'd be like, that's fitting for this event. Uh, but... He's young. He will be back. This is not going to be his last time in Vikingze. It's not in the Masters Tournament. Uh, he has more events coming up. He's won Olympiad Gold. He's won the World Rapid Championship. You can count the accolades here. We know how good Abusatarov is, and it's going to sting. It's going to feel yes. unfortunate. Uh, but we know that he will be back. He will continue his ascent, and he is just maybe uh, one of the top few players in the chess world that everyone has their eyes on right now. And I know this sounds very reductionist. It sounds like I'm minimizing the pain. The pain is real. The pain will persist for several weeks. The flight back home uh, to, to Uzbekistan is, is not going to be a pleasant one. Noterbeck is just going to have these moments on repeat. What if I had just made one move differently? What if I, you know, hadn't allowed Jordan's h pawn to squeeze its way to h3? What if I didn't play queen g3 and kept the queens on the board? All of the what ifs are going to accumulate and they are going to keep circulating like, you know, like a washing machine dryer, like that cycle is just going to keep going and going and going. We've all experienced that type of feeling when one thing we could have done differently could have led to a much happier conclusion. But he will get past this. And in the grand scheme of things, understanding that time heals all. Wow, there it is. Noterbeck resigns There's the game. He will get through this. Wow. And with 70,000 plus people watching on Twitch and YouTube, they see the resignation nation that means Anish Giri wins this tournament and you can see the look on Abdusatara's face it is a tough one for him but if he came into the event if you asked him you are going to finish in second place you are going to beat Magnus Carlsen and win three other games he would say sign me up unfortunately he had the lead if he had lost in round one and stormed back he'd be feeling great about his tournament he'll feel badly about this for a little while but when all is said and done when we look back on the 2023 Tatsil Chess Tournament, you have to say that Nordirbek Abdusatarov was an absolute beast. He was a beast. There's no other word for it. He has defeated Magnus Carlsen. He has defeated the world number two. He has so much to hang his hat on and be proud of. And there's smiles exchanged. So gracious by both players right there. Let's not neglect that moment. Nordirbek could have easily stormed out of the playing hall what pain he must be feeling on the inside and yet maintaining his professionalism congratulating jordan on a well-deserved win and i'm sure that he will congratulate anish giri as well what a performance what an end to the tournament and there robert we have it 
the smiling face of an Ishiguri, and that smile will be on his face for many days to come. He was a deserving champion. He won that final game against Richard Report. Uh, that one was a true fight where Richard was uncomfortable and ultimately blundered. And you see people talking about Anish 